Hello everyone, this is Shiva Chur back again. Now this may be a strange game to see on here, but I'm playing Factorio. I I missed last week. I just showed that I'm still alive and still trying to get content on my YouTube video. It's been a while. I've been really slow and having trouble. Mostly because of um I've been feeling burned out a lot. And I just need breaks and stuff like that. But anyway, I'm just gonna do a quick little show off of what I'm just want, I don't know what the so basically, I'm at the end point of the of the game where I've already I made one of these rocket defense for the ship's landing. So we're gonna see what it does, and this is already a bad sign showing that. And yeah, obviously never they never finished even the model. It's just there, and nothing happens. Oh wait, here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, here we go. So, is there anything else I need to do with this thing? Nope, just need to wait now. I guess. I guess it, I didn't know it was a 10 minute wait. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like this. So, I may just cut it and then sip it in the end, or we can just wait. Um. Or we just check out my base. So basically, I'm using mods in terms for power and stuff like that because mostly you could, it's, it's better power generation. So like a thousand steam generators. But the pollution's still high. This is basically my um, main part. Start of my production area. This is auto crafting for stuff like repair kits and everything like that. This is mostly just for my science and circuit boards and everything. It's a pretty nice sounding area once it's at full stream. It burns through a lot of copper. Let me see my solid six. Yes, yeah, so far over fifty hours, which I which I've exceeded that much gameplay. I have built over one point three million copper cable. That's a pretty large amount. I've gone through gone through about sixty six that about six point five k sixty six hundred and fifty thousand k copper in over fifty hours, and, and nearly a million in iron. I'm going through a lot of stuff, and look how much, and look at this, this is just extreme. It looks like I have spike in dirt uses, but that's for another thing. Let's go see what's attacking me. But as you see, my base is relatively small to compare it to most people's, but everybody, everything is here. Um, we got auto crafting for things like, um, ammo, weapons... Conveyors, all in speed modules, upgrades. I wonder if I make any of that yet. Yeah, it's gonna be, and when this, in my total power uses, you'll see why. It's, I'm pretty, I'm using up like 27, 28,000 megawatts. At my peak usage, when everything's actually running, including the lasers, it's roughly around 30 to 40 megawatts. That's pretty hard to contain. Let's make sure we save it here. I should put on a different save. Oh well. That sucks. Hopefully, I didn't screw anything up. Hopefully, this is not broken. But as you see, I got a pretty big cloud. Right here, we got like a little app host right next to this thing. This little colony here, because it's a colony of biters. Because that's pretty massive. And I just want to keep an eye on it. And that's basically like where all the biters pretty much spawn from, I think, over here. You know what I mean? Every once I do, I do get like a siege move on my base, but I got like mo like a major outpost here with its own power supply, and then two smaller outposts here, so they get get interference. And, I, and all my miners out here have their own little defense zone. So I got plenty of outposts and everything. Good, I'm pretty well defended. In case you're wondering what mod this is, this is the Yurkio mod that you can get on the forums. You're pretty much fine in their wiki too. It's pretty good, and I also got the landfill mods to explain how the weird land formations are. As you can see, these things are running at near peak performance. I think it's because of the rocket turret. I'm not sure. Let's see what's using the most power. Looks like it's still the furnaces, which are using about six megawatts. As you can see, 
This is actually a nice sound. The area was at full screen. It's got a nice ring to it, you know what I mean? But I like these kind of sounds, unlike most people. And look at that. I got that, that, and that. No, and stuff. It's pretty nice looking. Especially when you build it. Uh, these have some major upgrades. This is where they basically I had if you can see like each one of these is making so much copper wire Not even the, the not even the droppers can keep up and the line can't keep up That's how fast it's going I feel confident enough to where let's get Some research going Here's my research area. This may be a, a strange design by works where basically the research is constantly rotating around and as it hits the points where it refills, it automatically drops a new one on the belt. It's pretty nice. It keeps all of them running at once and that's why there's no like, no like, um, at the end there's like a bunch of load. It's always moving around so every, so they always have, have access to what's on the belts. Makes it easier to control, easier to move around, other than what having them directly connected to the research production line. As you can see here, every time when 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 there's a hole in the green research, it instantly gets pushed. The next one gets pushed on the line, and then this thing refills it. It's very nice. Up here we have the modded work area where it's producing a lot of high-end stuff. I'm hoping to get the explosive ammo from this mod, these mods, because it, look at that, it does 11 damage plus 6.6 6, 6. 6 damage added on, so that's like nearly 18 damage compared to what ammo I have is from the same mod, which is about a little bit less, but still, it would be pretty good to get a nice upgrade. I was waiting for more of the ammo to reach out. Actually, I need to wait for the dust production to get, get up. Because right now, I need to produce dust and... I need to produce these kind of dust and get mixed into order to make this stuff. Which is basically like fuel or some kind of... I don't know what they use. Do they have fuel? That's pretty nice, and it's provide, it also provides better lighting. Let's see, three minutes till the ship lighting this. Let's still have to see what happens. I hope it, um, there's nothing you gotta hear guy getting its way or something. And all my power is basically derived off the oil fuel, saw fuel production over here, which is over here. So you see, I, if you can see already, I got like three. Three oil refineries, each doing like the advanced, advanced crack except for the middle one to get more like the light and heavy oils. The heavy oil, just because I need more of it. And then up here, I got like the light oil being cracked into petroleum, and I got the heavy oil being cracked into light oil at the same time. It's being used for lubricant to make stuff. Let me see if I can add some more light. Go. A little bit more light for you guys. <clears throat> oh, sorry for that. I saved. But as you can see, I got um a pretty stable fuel spot. I'm getting petroleum to turn into solid fuel because Destiny is pretty much max sounds, but it's pretty much what's hindering me. As you can see, I got plenty of solid fuel being made. I'm going to let, like, let that fill up. I do have a tank, but it's somewhere around here. I'm not sure where. I still not yet to see this defense design used recently. This was originally made because a lot of the see where they all coming from. They're all coming from around here. It's kind of unique. But you can see that outpost right there is pretty much taking care of them easily. It's nothing but lasers, the defenses. I but I got plenty of power to spare. And I got plenty of accumulator capacity. So if my entire laser defense grade goes up, I'm pretty much covered. One minute to landing. And I like how these things are like running at max, but these things are right here on like a standby of some kind. <laughs> oh, good. 
I think the next thing I'll work towards is uh, increase their speed because it's really going to be a neat, neat, nice thing to have. And over here, I got like a massive thing. This can put out up to um, 14 megawatts. Am I right? Yeah, four, nearly 8, 15 megawatts, but I can't find a way to max it out. It's always being stopped around 12 when it's running around this up. Uh, even hooked up to this, and it always got stopped around 12. I think, I think, I think the mod makers still, or mod developers still working on how to probably fuel that thing. I mean, this thing burns through this fuel stuff pretty easily, so it's... I pretty much got a source of fuel for burning. And these things are not cheap on I mean, their pollution. Look at this. Look at the look at the counter down down to the right. It says pollution, 125 compared to... This thing's 45, and... The original boiler it's set up and everything for vanilla stuff... Pollution, it doesn't even say. And the same for that, but they put out a lot of pollution, too. What's well, power production? Power production. What can you help do with it? Oh, 30 seconds to see. Let's wait for the last 30 seconds and watch everything spin around. Maybe we'll find out what the coins are. Or, because I don't think anyone else have done, has done this yet. Huh. Killed that much. I'll save a replay for you guys later. Oh yeah, that, this game is not like spaces for some reason. That's what happens. Nothing amazing or anything, so... I guess that's how you finish the game. This has been Shibisher, signing off. Feel free to follow me on Twitch and subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my, my Patreon account. All links will be below in the YouTube description. See you later.